G'day, mate. G'day. Adam Harrington. Your new director of coaching. You fair dinkum. I didn't think that was going ahead. Oh, yes, yeah, all systems go, mate. The board signed off last night. So is the coach about? I can't wait to meet him. Well, I can't wait for you to meet him either. Two things. Teaspoon needs a fitness test. And have you seen my rose hip and lavender sea salt scrub? I use that too, it's great. Really good stuff. Good on you. Who's this? One of the boys from your jazz tap class? <laughs> That's my chair. This is Adam Harrington. New director of coaching. New director of coaching. Congratulations. Who for? The Roosters. I take a shower and when I come back we've got a director of coaching. Jesus! I better not take a dump. We'll have merged with the parrots before I'm off the pot. Can you believe this? Jesus, where do they dig you up from, son? Well, George approached me on behalf of the board. I've been at the VIS for the past seven months and uh, I've got my level one senior accredited coaching certificate. Oh, you got a certificate. Yeah, we've got certificates too. He's got one in... He's got one in tap dancing and I've got one in the 50 metres butterfly that I got when I was 12. 50 metres without stopping? Yeah. It's a very difficult stroke. Where have you coached? I was a forward scout at Clarence down in Tassie. Uh, moved up to assistant coach at the Twos. Then I got the top job. You coached Clarence? No, I was chairman of selectors. Hey, it'd be really good to get up to speed. Can I grab a copy of the Roosters' mission statement? Uh, no, you can't. Right, it's a very important component, like having a strong leadership group. How many players in yours? We don't have a leadership group per se. No, we don't. We've got a captain, a vice captain, and a deputy vice captain. A deputy vice captain? I thought they went out with lace-up jumpers. Yeah? Well, we've got three of them. Oh, I guess that's a leadership group of sorts. Do you guys uh, do any honesty exercises or trust sessions, you know, where you create a safe environment for the players and coaches to talk openly? We tried that once. Yeah, it was a bloody debacle. I had to give Karras his TV back. Whitey told Muzzer he had feelings for him. And poor Teaspoon found out one of his bloody children was bulls. Right. So what are your KPIs saying, boys? What? Your key performance indicators. Listen, mate, I'll give you a KPY. Kick more goals than the other mob. They covered that at the VSI, did they? Let's settle down. Yeah, I'm actually sensing a bit of hostility. Oh, really? Well spotted, Gil Tucker. Constable Roy Baker? From Cop Shop? You blokes. And your computers and your sports drinks. And your bloody corporate speak. That's the one that really shits me. When did you blokes rewrite the footy dictionary? Who made captains and vice captains the leadership group? When did the team become the playing group? Oh, you don't do recruiting anymore. It's doing your due diligence. And this is the big one. Who turned tradition into friggin' club culture? Why don't you just talk like we've always talked in footy? I'm just using the language the footy uses now. I'm just using the language that we use it now. Seafood risotto or steak, boys? What would you have? Not sure about the risotto. I have a steak, Rusty. Steak for me. No, risotto sounds kind of tasty. I might grab one of those. Thanks, mate. So, have you boys thought about a succession plan? Because they're all the rage at the moment. Get out of my chair.